Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very awesome reading, Sagittarius. I only say that if I really mean it, right? Of course, right? Because I'm Sag and, you know, we just kind of shoot from the hip, right? It's, it's too much work to lie. Yeah, it is. Or to fib. It's just a lot of drama. Yeah, I feel like it is. So, uh, you know, we're not good liars. So we feel like this is going to be a good reading. We do. Let's get into it. And we start with the Knight of Cups. And here he is, Sagittarius. But he is like sitting backwards, right? Almost like he's defiant, right? Like some kids do in school, right? They're, you know, they're not facing the teacher or the front of the school, the front of the class. They're facing uh, the back of the class to be kind of a jerk, right? Uh, this Knight of Cups in this particular reading, right? This can talk about somebody who had too much work to do, kind of. Like too, ma too many, somebody was putting pressure on them. And so they kind of gave them, they kind of might have gave them a little bit of shade possibly, right? But uh, it's just somebody who has a lot of uh, responsibility and they are, kind. it's kind of this responsibility is like hindering their, their path or it's, it's like, it's like hindering their, their journey ahead, right? So here he is, he's sitting backwards and then we have the strength card and here the lion is going to attack this lady here, right? Usually she has him under control. And, you know, this talks about somebody who kind of just gets angry. Like, hey, screw this. Uh, stop giving me so much work to do. Or kind of, it could be like, move out of my way. I'm trying to get to my destination. <clears throat> and you're making it harder. Uh, but this talks about somebody who's kind of trying to control somebody. Yeah, this woman... Uh, I, I, she was trying to control the lion and <clears throat> he's like, well, you're not going to control me. Something like that. Right. Yeah. And we have creation, gratitude and confusion. All right. So, uh, this creation, we see the beautiful native, uh, American woman here. Maybe she's not native American, but you know, uh, I feel like, uh, the author here is, uh, is most likely American. Maybe she's UK. I'm not sure. But the point about this lady here, uh, She's, you know, she's got her feathers on her ears. It's very cool. And she has some type of a wheel kind of earring here. I'm sure that is symbolic of something, I'm sure. And she's holding a giant crystal. And emanating from the crystal is kind of all this aura, right? Uh, somebody wants to create, this person, whoever they are, they want to create a union with you. I feel like they have gratitude for you, Sagittarius. They do. Here's the gratitude card. And, you know, they're thankful for your friendship or... <clears throat> or just you maybe being in, in the world, right? Yeah, there's plenty of songs like that, right? And uh, I'm so thankful you're in this world. Yeah, and usually they are uh, romantic songs. Many of them are Spanish, right? We have the confusion card here. Let's have a look at the confusion card. Uh, we know what it is, but the point of this is, uh, you know, this lady gets, it's not just, just confusion, it's other things. Every silver lining has a cloud. Look at that. So somebody here is coming for their silver lining and they have to pass through a cloud first, right? They have to tell somebody move out of the way or move that person out of the way it appears or move a situation out of the way. Uh, and they feel kind of like, uh, whatever they were dealing with was either too much work or kind of blocking this journey to come to you. I feel like they did feel that allowing confusion, spiritual support, consequences of actions, finding love. This talks about clarity, support and revelation. Yeah. This person, whoever they are, has allowed themselves to kind of, kind of just, you know, maybe meditate, but you know, to, to accept that they were kind of confused about this and they needed to seek their clarity on it. But they have major clarity here, uh, Sagittarius, that they are grateful for you and they want to create the situation. And this creation card, which is after the lion attacks the woman, right? And this is, for me, it's somebody standing up to somebody else who's basically kind of trying to lay down the law or give some rules. Maybe somebody's married here, maybe. But this creation card is I will guide you to your muse. This is the she shaman, right? So she's a shaman, right? And uh, mm -hmm. your path is an artistic one. Express your love in a tangible art form. It's time to make decisions. Yeah, you see, this person here has already made this decision that they want to come be with you. I'm pretty sure here, right? And opening up to magic, lasting transformation, divine feminine energy, awakening creativity, finding your muse, owning your gifts. 
This person, Sagittarius, next to the gratitude card, you are their muse. In other words, you are this per you are this person's like <clears throat> sometimes a muse can maybe kind of be seen as like a hobby. But you are the person who like amuses them, but it's much more than amusing. It is somebody who who brings wonder to their life. Yeah, and fun and and like let's create this together because you're so like you're so awesome. It is that energy. It's really beautiful in this reading. Yeah, it is. And then we have, let's see. Mm-hmm. Am I waiting for someone's permission to create my life? Yeah. So here's the creation card that is before the strength card where this this uh the lion rises up to attack the woman, right? So this here, somebody was like your person, where is that? Am I waiting for someone's permission to create my life? What do I need to see in order to claim my own gifts? Yeah, and you know, this person sees the gratitude that they have for you. Yeah, if you guys remember, this is how these readings come out. I use a few decks and, you know, uh, for the oracles, right? And, and they just come out in painting the story, right? Yeah, this is over here, um, what happened to somebody. And even this card says, uh, with the lion attacking the woman, it says something happened. <laughs> like something like bad, kind of, yeah. So somebody's standing up to somebody else and, uh, you know, and your person, in a way, I believe, maybe was waiting for somebody's permission. Maybe they're trying to let go of somebody. But it's not waiting for somebody's permission so much. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, formally. It could be that they let this person just hold them back. That's what they mean by that, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, consequences of action. Yeah, creation, gratitude, and this confusion card. And this is the consequence of action. Uh, this person is coming to create this with you. And uh, it's all... Mm -hmm. What's supporting them here, Sagittarius, is this gratitude card. And it's interesting how it's next to the creation card, which this person sees you as a muse, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's wonderful, right? You don't want to be seen as a, a, a stump on a log or a log on a stump, however they say that, right? Yeah. And we have from the Little Gnomes, uh, and this is a big reading, but we, you know, we wanted to use these cards because they're, they're just kind of fun and they kind of point out. Yeah, and we have uh, the failure card, all right? So... He's here opening his uh, pockets. And these cards are based more on images than they are on any meanings uh, from the book, right? And uh, uh, But some of it is relevant, of course. Uh, but here's the failure card. This is the five of pentacles. So your person here, you know, this confusion card talks about clarity. I feel like that they want an ending with somebody or they're letting something fail or like there, or there's a lack. This is the five of pentacles. He's... He's pulling his uh, pockets open. He doesn't have any money, right? The little gnome. And so this is either, this person has either has clarity that wherever they're at, there is a lack of love or, or amusement, right? Like amusement, like fun and, you know, and stimulation and joy and things like that and, and wonderment, right? They're, they're accepting that here. They have clarity here that wherever they're at is kind of a failure and there's full of lack, right? Here's a queen of swords here and yeah and here she is uh mm -hmm. and this is agreement right la concordia so what this is here is that uh your person i believe has already agreed that wherever they're at's no good and they want to come you know join you because you're their muse yeah it's it's kind of cool here it is and here's the strength card and this is uh you know la fuerza right or the force this person has courage right and you know uh, here she is, uh, and strength because she's opening, oh, she's opening the, uh, it looks like the alligator's a mouth, right? Like, screw this. I, I'm going to do that. I have force, right? Yeah. We also have courtesy in this reading and we have the hunter and, uh, the eternal youth card, which talks about newness. Somebody wants newness with you. And this person's coming with the utmost courtesy. Yeah, they are because... Maybe they didn't appreciate you in the past because this creation card and the gratitude card, they kind of both talk about that. They talk about somebody is my muse. I have great gratitude for that person. 
yeah and uh you know she's pregnant um here and she's that's her friend but the whole point of that is that somebody i feel like wants to birth a union with you yeah they do i feel like they do mm -hmm. let's get into the reading sagittarius and uh, i hope you guys are well right yeah mm -hmm. let's see what we got Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. This looks like a third party. It does look like third party energy, doesn't it? I feel like it does. And uh, mm -hmm. let's see what else we're at here for Sagittarius. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here, Sagittarius, because uh, they're usually uh, things that are kind of either hidden or kind of not really understood fully. It can be that they are just nuances, or not really nuances, but... Uh, they can show hints of what's going on, right? Yeah. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius, yeah? And their person, right? Maybe they're Leo here with the strength card. They could be they could be anybody. We have uh we have, you know, a lot of folks here. We do, or I know we're gonna. We have a few up here. The bottom of this deck, Sagittarius, is the world card. <clears throat> and here's the dancer with her naked butt here. You know, this talks about uh, expansion and opportunities and coming full, full, full force or full circle and full force in the world to, uh, to fulfill a wish. We also have the Knight of Cups. He's also sitting backwards. I can't believe this guy here, right? Mm -hmm. This other cup talks about somebody who could be drinking too, this Knight of Cups, <laughs> uh, possibly, right? And so here's the Knight of Cups again. We have the Three of Pentacles here and we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, this, somebody's clear right here with the Sun card here that they want a reconciliation with you and to work things out with you. Yeah. Let's have a look here at what they're saying about this Knight of Cups here. I don't think it's, uh, it deviates much from the, uh, that is if we see this little card, this little, yeah. Okay, let's see what it says mm -hmm. about the Knight of Copas, right? Yeah, let's see. Okay, we need English. Let's see what we got here. They got Italian and... Okay, so the Knight of Cups is approach and invitation in this deck. This person's coming to... And I wanted to say that here, uh, over here, with the courtesy and the Hunter card here, Sagittarius, talks about somebody who's kind of like hunting you down, trying to find out where you live or you know, they're contacting you. It's that type of energy. And it's also like very aggressive. Like I'm going to find Sagittarius, right? Yeah. It's that energy. It's really cool. And let's get into the reading. Here's the 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck here. There's some type of ending here. Yeah. Maybe somebody rose up and, you know, was a lion or a lion to somebody and said, you're in my way because those, uh, at the beginning of the reading, I spoke about that, right? Bottom of the deck, Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, Page of Wands. This is a new direction. Uh, and, you know, here's the Knight of Swords. He He's trying to cut out this Three of Swords next to it. He's eliminating a third party here. I feel like somebody here, You might, I don't think you were in one, but I think you're a third person for some. In other words, somebody might want to walk away from somebody else to be with you. This is kind of what I mean, right? Or any kind of variation of that, right? Uh, kind of uh, similarity to that. Here's judgment and the death card. They want a rebirth with you and a transformation. The three of pentacles shows up again. We have the ace of wands here. Here's Virgo. Maybe they're Virgo, but they have attained some spiritual wisdom. The justice card. Uh, mm -hmm. And maybe this decision uh, based on this wisdom possibly is uh, based on like justice can be wisdom. And it could be bringing them balance in their life and harmony. And I feel like it is because they're, they're escaping this whole lion kind of energy, right? Ten of Cups is here too. So let's do a reading from the bottom of the deck. We are today. Yeah, we are because we can do what we want, Sagittarius, right? At least, in, uh, at least so far, at least here. <laughs> uh, and for the most part, but yeah. And uh, you guys probably aren't maybe following me what I'm saying over there, but that's fine, right? Ten of Cups, Sagittarius, is going to be your first card. The Queen of Swords is crossing you. You have the moon. 
Eight of Pentacles. So the Queen of Wands is on your own mind, right? Or this is your mindset. This could just be you like thinking a lot, right? For sure. And here's the Knight of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is in your concern. Maybe this person is an earth sign and you love them, of course. And we have temperance reversed. Now, this possibly could be you reversed, Sagittarius, but for some, it could be, maybe you're waiting for them, right? Maybe you have been confused because this confusion card talks about finding clarity, but allowing yourself to be confused first, right? Yeah, it does. So here, let's start the reading over here. The ace, the, I'm sorry, the 10 of cups. Now in the discerning energy or the crossing energy rather, which is either a supporting card. Sometimes it's neutral, but it's usually a supporting or a challenging card. And here you are discerning. You might feel challenged here, whether or not you're going to have a hap happily ever after with this person. Uh, and possibly, uh, yeah, you're in the dark here. I feel like you're in the dark and you don't know anything or you haven't heard anything. Yeah. Here's a nine of cups here. I can't make this stuff up, right? Yeah. So let's see what else we have. And uh, let's see why that moon is there for Sagittarius. And we have the high priestess. Looks like there's a water sign here, doesn't it? The moon and the high priestess here. And the hangman's under it. OMG. Maybe your person is Pisces. Maybe they're dealing with a Pisces. <clears throat> I feel like maybe you're just wondering if they're trusting their intuition, Sagittarius, but there's more here. There's a lot here. Let's see what else we have. The devil. Okay. You might feel chained by this, all this wonderment, <laughs> not even wonderment, wondering, right? Wonderment is something magical, but this wondering, you might be wondering if this person feels like they are in chains with somebody else because this Knight of Cups and the Strength card where the lion attacks the woman, that person felt hella stuck, excuse me, or Hecka. Excuse me, Hecka Wecka. Let's see, we have Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So this is in the past. <clears throat> I feel like you've been wondering all along here if you're going to have a new beginning beginning with them and if they're going to come and really put the work in with you and do their best and make an effort and devote themselves to you. Uh, this could be what's on your mind too. And it could also be here that you are very devoted to this person in the past. Maybe you had some type of a new beginning with them in the past. If you know what I mean, something really beautiful. Maybe you did. The Ace of Swords can talk about your clarity here. Maybe you had your clarity here that this person loves you or that you love them. It could be either, 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 or. Let's see what else we have. And the Ten of Swords. Wow. Maybe you suffered. I feel like you suffered this probably in the past. <clears throat> you went through some harsh ending with them or this is them. But this is about an ending because somebody wants a new beginning. That's what that's about. The queen of wands is on your mind with her little black cat, right? And she sits here with her legs wide open. I'm like, what? Come on. <laughs> and so we have the chariot card. And, you know, this is what's on your mind. It could be, this could be your mindset. I feel like here you are wondering if you're going to move forward with them. If there's going to be movement. You could be wondering if they're coming and if there's going to be movement with them. I feel like it's more like that. Yeah, I mean, it's both, but uh, there's a, there's a, there's kind of, a, it seems like there is a, a curiosity to know, right, what's going on in this reading. Yeah, there is. So in the near future, we have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So this could be you overwhelmed. This could be them. I feel like it's whoever, whoever fought a lion or whoever like kind of attacked somebody and they lost their temper and they got mad because this person was trying to take away their power or kind of stands in the way of their real life. And, you know, it could be like a feeling 
like I said, and somebody might not be standing there with a broomstick. I'm going to hit you on the head if you go. But it's this energy where uh, somebody like somebody's like was just trying to hold somebody back, like maybe to stay in a relationship, possibly. Here's a seven of wands. And, you know, this could be you overwhelmed here. And this could be somebody, uh, this could be your person who is resisting. There's resistance in this reading where somebody's resisting somebody here because as I said, they're blocking that person, two of cups. And this is here. It looks like somebody's resisting somebody in this reading to have this two of cups with you. It does. And maybe it's this queen of pentacles here. Maybe it's this hanged man. Maybe it's another Sag. Any sign, right, in a, in a general reading, right, of course. And here we have the worlds. And this is in your concern. Is the cycle going to end? Am I going to have a new cycle with them? This is really your concern. The world is a maturity card. You know, uh, it is, it's kind of a learning card. Like, gee, I went through all this and that, and you know, uh, time has passed and I grew up, things like that. But, uh, it's a major wish fulfillment. It sure is. And the, and it's expansion, right? The hangman reversed with the four of pentacles is in your environment. You're holding on to this person. Uh, and maybe, uh, this hangman reverse can talk about, you've been enlightened about this it can talk about a bunch of stuff it could talk about a piscean here's the high priestess the hanged man uh i thought there was another card to the moon the moon can be pisces or cancer and it's here and they're all here right mm -hmm. and so let's get another card for sagittarius in your environment and we have the hierophant somebody could be in the reverse somebody wants to hold on to you they could be letting their marriage go, Sagittarius. They could. They could be putting somebody in the reverse here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm the only person who says it like that, but, you know, you definitely can do that, right? Uh, you can. I mean, right? If you're walking out on somebody or whatever, you can put somebody in the reverse. You can do it by playing games sometimes. I mean, right? It's just kind of, yeah. But, you know, this could be your person. Uh, maybe you believe here you're going to hold on to them, but... In your environment is a major belief that this person wants to hold on to you. That's their belief in your environment. I believe it is. They could have already been very much enlightened here because in this reading, this is not only your reading. I didn't formally lay down their cards today as I have done yesterday and, you know, kind of switch it up, but definitely. And the five of wands, you know, it's possible this is in, this is, uh, it's sitting in your hope and your desire, but, uh, it's not a good card to be hoping for. Uh, you could be hoping for a turning point though, because it is a number five. Uh, you could be hoping to win competition here. You could, because it does feel like there's competition here. You might be hoping this person is not so challenged, right? Possibly. And they need, you know, la fuerza over here, the strength and the force. And, uh, this lady definitely has the force. Uh, she's a gnome and, you know, she's beating up the alligator basically, right? Let's see what else we have. The, the king of pentacles. Maybe you are hoping this person will fight back. You might know this person's in a, in a relationship with somebody and maybe they're trying to leave or they're dealing with some kind of an issue. And, uh, because over here, somebody was trying to keep somebody under their thumb. And this person here, maybe this king, the king and the queen of pentacles are here, which is interesting, but <clears throat> I feel like you guys are a divine couple, regardless if they are an earth sign, right? But here's the strength card and somebody was standing up for their, they're like, screw this. Don't stand in my way. You could be hoping this person will like fight back. These people are fighting here, right? And so in your outcomes, Sagittarius is, uh, the temperance card reversed. You could really be hoping that something else doesn't heal itself because in this reading, it looks like you think this person is yours. Like you're mine. It does. It does appear that way. Right. And we have the two of wands in the outcome. So, you know, this is a great card to have as the, uh, opposing, not the opposing, the, uh, final card. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah, let's look at your person's extended. We're going to go to their reading. We are, and they start with courtesy. So this person's coming with good manners, Cap, uh, Sagittarius, very polite and thoughtful. Then look at, she has cake and she, she has some gifts, candy, 
this little kind of, you know, uh, dessert thing. And, you know, she brought this picnic basket, right? It's interesting, right? Uh, she looks like she has a picture over here in the picnic basket, but you can't see it all the way. And the wolf is in the back. You know, when we see the wolf, we see expansion and somebody's calling. Yeah, that's what that is. Crossing this person. They're coming because of some type of third party or you let them go or they let you go and they realize that you're the one, you're the muse, Sagittarius. Yeah, and you go, what? That sounds like a funny word, but you know, a lot of people know that it's a beautiful word, right? So uh, the hunter was crossing this person. This talks about like somebody who is kind of wants to come and provide for you. <clears throat> they could be a father too, they could, but... They want to provide for you and they are aggressively trying to find you. That's it. Like, I, huh, I got to go find Sagittarius. And you know when they come, they're under their best uh, behavior because here's courtesy, right? And, uh, and so in the outcome, uh, not the outcome, and why it's all happening for this person is eternal youth. And interesting how that is the number one in this deck. Wow. And uh, this is a new beginning and this is why it's all happening. They want this with you. <clears throat> or this person wants to maybe eternal youth, maybe relive the past. Uh, here's the, here's the, uh, the skull. There's an ending here and a new beginning. And this is why it's all happening. And this is, you are about to be rejuvenated and filled with energy and potential. You will look and feel very well and your health will be vital. You will be very attractive and people will be drawn to you. Mm -hmm. The quest to remain young has never been more fervent than in your time. Everywhere we and you look Everywhere we look, you will observe the obsession with being and remaining lineless. Yet there are those who are young in their face and body who are withered with age within their souls. Yeah, you, the, the reason you bring this person vitality, Sagittarius. Yeah, without all the, you know, with all the other stuff here. Uh, they know this here. And you may be the provider for them. And what I mean by that is the provider, like the muse, the person who provides just some kind of vitality for them. Yeah, this provider, I'm sure you are. Yeah, we're going to end this reading. This will be a 10 card spread and we're going to go to their tarot spread. We're going to have a different tarot spread on them that shows their advice and what they're focusing on, what they're leaving behind, what they want, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, who's in their environment and who they're affecting and yeah, all this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, thank you so much for joining me here. God bless you guys. And of course, how they feel, right? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And the link for the, dis for the extended is below in the description box. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me here today.